Hey, my loves. Thank you for clicking on this video. I have a message. I have a message for Taurus for the upcoming weekend. Let's see <clears throat> what energies and messages is coming out for my Taurus, my bull gangs. Bull gang, bull gang, bull gang. What you gonna do this weekend? Let's see what's coming up for you for the upcoming weekend. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Woo. We have the devil card. <laughs> this is master. This is a major arcana in this deck. This is the devil energy. Capricorn energy is here. So you could be dealing with a Capricorn here. Um, but this is somebody who is very protective of their heart here. This is coming out of fear. Fear to love, fear to open up, fear to release emotions is what I'm hearing. At the bottom of the deck, waiting results. It could be because you're trying to see if it's... <clears throat> If it's worth you opening up for yourself too, and it's coming out of fear and share the love. Uh-huh. Waiting to see if you could share the love with somebody this weekend. Or that you can express how you feel or something of the sort. But you're not doing that because of fear. Okay. And it's 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 it's, it's um it's making me feel as though you're weighing out your options, you're measuring to see if you have. If you even want to open yourself up or open your heart up to anybody or anything at the moment here. Mm -hmm. That's, that 15 reduces to a 6. Yeah, trust and fear. I can't make this up. Trust and fear. Okay? You're fearing if you could trust giving your heart or opening your heart up to somebody this weekend here. Or this could be somebody about you. But like I said, this is a fear. Fear surrounding matters of this heart. This heart is locked away in the cage, but this heart is very green. Okay, so you have a lot of love to give, give or you want to um, grow or manifest this type of love that you're, you're fearing here. And this could be because of thoughts that's swirling around your head about if you should open yourself up to this person this weekend. But baby, you have trust right here. And you see how this um, person is concluded in this egg? trust here you want to stay safe you want to keep your your heart safe here and it's because of fear fear of being hurt fear of being disappointed here at the bottom of the deck we have gratitude okay so yeah there's a lot of fear of emotions here okay it's a lot of fear of emotions what else can you tell me okay maybe you have to speak your truth about how you feel okay and it could be terrifying if you want to open your heart up up to somebody or, you know, speak from the heart, the truth from the heart. Oh, my goodness. What is all of this? <laughs> okay. Spirit has a lot to say. Let's, let's, let's put them back. <laughs> let's put them back. Holy Spirit. Okay. What do we have here? Recognition and abundance here. You need to recognize that if you open up your heart this weekend, you will have an abundance of love, and an abundance of emotions that's going to come out. It's making me feel like reward. And then we have hope at the bottom of the deck. Yes. It's making me feel as though it, it, what you're fearing is, 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 is going to bring you the abundance and success that you want. But you have to recognize that you do have this fear and you do have fear of trusting someone this weekend or a situation this weekend. Okay, but you have to master that fear. And this is what you're doing. You're mastering that fear. Yes, you are. Yes, you are with this big ass trust and recognition. You damn right. You're mastering that fear, that fear of emotions here. Okay, I can't make this up. And this is what you're trusting. Trust the most high God that you're being led and guided, guided through the emotions of fear. You have a lot of gratitude here and pleasure. Yeah. So you know it's okay. It's it's okay for you to be cautious. But don't be blocked by fear. Okay? All right. Let's um let's get one of these. Holy Spirit, what can you tell me about this 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 devil energy, this master energy? The energy is gaining momentum. Okay, this is making me feel like you're overcoming fear this weekend. Okay, fear of emotions, fear of rejection here. Okay. What can you tell me about fear? Yes, this this energy is gaining momentum. So, you know, it, you could be blocking the blessing is what I'm hearing. It says, don't let your past hold you back. Okay, past disappointments, past relationships, past um, letdowns and hurts and pains. Do not let that hold you back. This is what's holding you back. This is why you're fearing. These, this is why the 
thoughts are swirling around your heads because these are memories that, that is trying to keep you chained and keep you bound into this fear. Don't let your past, the failure of the past hold you back. Do not let the failure of the past hold you back. And that's what's blocking you to move forward here. Okay? Holy Spirit, holy angels. Look, you and your loved ones are safe at the bottom of the deck. I like that. Okay, what can you tell me about trust? That's the egg moon. Ooh. Trust that you're protected. Okay, trust that your heart is being that your heart is protected. Okay, trust that your love is protected. That's what I'm hearing. Okay. Um, can you kick it out? Yeah. Can you kick it out? <laughs> Holy Spirit, can you kick it out? They said yes. Okay, thank you, my love. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. They said, give me a minute. Oh, he said it's coming. Okay. <laughs> All right. They said it's coming. Thank you. Ooh, ooh. Three came out. Four. Okay, I'm going to take it. Take time to breathe out. Okay? Catch yourself. Relax, relate, release. Meditate and contemplate. Take time to breathe out. Meditate and contemplate. This is what you need to do in order to, to um, subside that anxiety and that fear that you have within yourself about love and opening yourself up. And what do you need to release? You need to release fear and trust that the Most High God has your back, that has you surrounded and protected by love, but you're scared to open yourself up to love this weekend. And then we have a time for healing. You got to heal from what? Your past. Because you cannot let that past hold you back. Okay? And this is why that fear is here. The, the, the fear of the past hurt and pain. And now it's the time for you to heal from that hurt and pain from the past to move forward because you're blocking your blessings here. Okay, look at the bigger picture at the bottom of the deck, okay? All right, what can you tell me about abundance? What can you tell me about abundance? One more. Thank you. We have a win-win forecast this outcome. Oh, my God. That, this is good luck, good fortune. Everything is turning around in your favor. The scales are being balanced. These scales are balanced here. Your heart. Mm -hmm. Your heart. So when we're outcast forecast, outcome is forecast, and this is abundant. This could be money too coming in. This could be abundance of love, an abundance of trust, an abundance of, of um, how shall I say, compassion, empathy, sympathy for you, okay? Because you was able to open up your heart again and get past that fear that's blocking you. And once you get past that fear of love that is blocking you, all this abundance is here. Because you have a win-win forecast outcome, okay? But you just need to let go and let God and release that fear of opening your heart and trusting again, okay? Let's, um, we can tell you about recognition. Thank you. Conclusions are within reach. You see what I'm saying? This is going to wrap up, okay? As soon as you recognize what it is that you need to do, the conclusions of you living in fear of giving your heart or opening your heart, that shit is over with. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then we have at the bottom of the deck, you're very close to achieving your goals. Keep going. Keep healing, okay? Keep striving forward. Keep going forward despite the fear that you have. Fear of self, fear of the outcome, fear of not being, not having what you want coming to fruition, things of the sort. You just got to do it because the universe have your back, okay? And the universe said, trust me. Meditate and contemplate. Talk to me. Pray. Okay, this is what the Most High is saying. I'll help you release your fear. Trust me. Okay, don't let the past, don't let the past disappointments of past relationships hold you back from having trust and faith and new love and, and love that I have for you that is abundant for you. That is coming for you is what I'm hearing. Okay. All right. Holy Spirit. What can you tell me for my Tauruses? Temperance energy. Sagittarius energy. Peace of mind is here. The Queen of Swords. Cut out anything. People, places, and things that no longer serve you because you need peace of mind. You have peace of mind. This is what you're doing. This is a current energy. And then we have the Ten of Cups. Very, very beautiful. You are willing to sacrifice anything. So, okay, speak your truth. I heard you, Spirit. Not only speak your truth, but sacrifice anything that is not in your best interest, that is not serving to you for you to have this Ten of Cups energy. It's like, it's like this work has been done or is being done. You're, you're in the process of removing anything in your life that, that um, 
how should I say, that jeopardize that peace of mind, that, 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 that emotional fulfillment that you have. You want to protect it. Yeah. This is why you, you, you're scared to love because you want to protect your happiness, your heart. You don't want to hurt. Yeah. You don't want to hurt, but most I said, let that go. Okay. Yeah. But you're in the queen of source energy and that's being, that's somebody that's very logical. That's very smart. That speaks her peace. That speaks the truth here. Okay. That really don't take anybody's BS because it's like, no, I'm not having it. Okay. My peace of mind is very important to me. The peace in my spirit is very important to me and I'm emotionally fulfilled here. Okay, it's like you don't want nobody to come in and mess up what you already have going. But this is coming out of fear. Fear because you've been hurt in the past before. Ooh, shit. We have the death, Scorpio energy. We have the devil, Capricorn energy. We have the tower, Scorpio, Aries energy here. Ooh. Somebody trying to sell you a lie. And then we have the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck. This energy is coming in fast. This is somebody that is trying. This is an energy here that, and I want to say somebody. It keeps coming out of my mouth, so I'm going to say it. This is an energy here of something or someone is trying to disrupt your peace that you already have within yourself. This is why you're not willy-nilly about giving your heart or open up your heart to any old body here. Because you've been there before. Don't let your past hold you back. That fear here. You cutting ties and you cutting cords on shit that is low vibing. And, 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 and disruptive of your peace here. This is you that brought that tower down. Okay? This is a this is a quick change. Look how look how you're looking. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, I did it. Yeah, you brought the tower down because it was something here toxic or it was some type of um temptation or something that was trying to lure you away from your peace in your mind, the peace of mind that you already have. It's like somebody trying to come up to you and start arguments and fights and shit. And you like, hell no, nah, fuck no. Nah. I'm not doing that. That's why that Queen of Swords is here. This Queen of Swords brought this tower down because you got this devil energy here. Somebody that you could have um, ended it with or cut ties with. Now they want to come back around and try to tempt you. Okay? Try to seduce you. Try to lie. This is a liar here. Okay? Trying to trick you. This is a trickster here. And you saying, hell no, nah, fuck no. Nah. I will burn this whole bitch down before I let you or anybody else disrupt my peace or to, or to try to lure me away. And change my mind and ideas about who I am and what I want. Yeah. Let's let's put one on this tower. What can you tell me about the tower? Thank you. You see what I'm saying? Judgment and the moon. These are not a major arcanas here. The judgment and the moon, this is Pisces energy here. It's it's like, yeah. You 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 done already decided what it is that you want. Okay, for some of you guys, um, there could be still some hidden things that you need to know. Here are things that is being hidden from you here that caused this tower moment. But it was the, it was it was for your best interest and your best good for you to go ahead and skip off into the sunshine here. OK, this is for some. This is also to some of you guys is not really letting nobody know exactly what it is that you are willing to do in order to keep your peace of mind here. OK, let's put one on this devil. Look, the king of swords at the bottom of the deck. Very, very. Look, it's, it's mind over matter here. Okay, this is head over head over heart, mind over matter, things of the sort. Let's clarify this devil energy and then I'm going to close it down. What can you tell me about this devil energy? Somebody is trying to, yeah, trying to trick you, trying to seduce you. Like, uh-uh. It's like you looking at you looking at this this person. You looking at you looking at this person just lie about all kind of good shit. Okay, because they're trying to trap you up. But you're smarter than that. Look, the lovers. Damn. Gemini energy. Let's put one more. This could be a soulmate here. This could be somebody that's trying to tempt the soulmate or the soulmate is trying to come back around and tempt you or seduce you here after you don't cut ties with them. Okay? Look, the seven of wands. Yeah, you're very defensive against this soulmate here. Yeah, this is somebody that you done ended it with already. You done cut that tie, honey. You done closed that door. Another door has opened. You done uh, skipped, skipped off into the sunshine of it. Of this other um, opportunity here. This is why you have peace of mind and temperance here. And this is why the Queen of Swords is like, you're not supposed to fuck up my peace of mind and my happiness here. This is somebody from the past. This is why they say, don't let your past hold you back. But this is somebody from the past or a situation from the past that's coming back around again that you got to deal with. A person, place, or thing. Here. Uh-huh. Ace of Wands here. 
They want to, uh -huh, the Knight of Wands, they, they very sexual. This is what I'm saying. They trying to seduce you. It's somebody from the past that's trying to come back around that you cut ties with that's trying to seduce you with that dick here. But this is you saying, hell no, nah, fuck no. Nah. Y'all could have a strong um, uh, uh, a love-hate relationship with this person. But the devil energy and the lovers here, that's a love-hate relationship. Okay? This is a toxic energy here. This is a toxic relationship as well. This is somebody that you had a lot of chemistry with, um, a lot of um, connect, a higher, a high connection with, but it was toxic here, okay? And this person trying to come back around. Yep. What can you tell me about the death, please? Yep. What can you tell me about the death? One more. Thank you. Page of Cups. Somebody want to come back and apologize now after you come cut ties with them. Now they want to have a new, a, a, they have a new idea of what this love can be or should have been. Okay. Star energy at the bottom of the deck, Aquarian energy here. Hope and wishing and praying is what I'm hearing. Yep. The Nine of Wands. They hope and wishing and praying with the Nine of Swords. Hell yeah. They hope and wishing and praying that they can come back in your good graces here. But they're coming up as a page against the Queen of Swords. I don't think so. I don't think so. Mm-mm. This tower moment is final. This separation with this person that's trying to come back from the past, that shit is final. But they're going to try it anyway. Uh-huh. They're going to try to try it anyway. The sex could have been good. And here they come. Trying to dick you down. And, and, or, or, <laughs> or they want you to dick them down or something of the sort. I don't know. But yeah, but that's not... I got the dick down energy. So I'm going to say that, that it's, yeah, somebody want to come and they really want to... They really want to get it on with you. Okay? They want you to dick them down or they want to come and dick you down. But they here. Okay? And they're going to try anything to get back into your good graces. But this is why this heart is locked up. This is why you mastered that. You have a lot of love and you mastered that. You're not giving your heart to this person here because they have already did this to you. They have already did something to you in the past that you just said, hell no, fuck no. I will not fuck with you no more. I will not put myself in a position to be hurt again. Fucked over again, disappointed again, nothing of the sort. This is you completely shutting down on the past. And because you have done that, you have fear of loving in the future. Okay? You do. There's fear of, of opening up that heart again for future uh, 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 opportunities or people that want to, you know, come together with you. But that fear is there because of this person in the past. And don't do that. Okay. Easier said than done, yes, because you're protecting your heart and you're protecting your emotions. But don't let that past person block you from having blessings in the future with somebody else. Okay. All right, my love. This is what I have for you. So I'm going to leave it right here. And I hope and I pray that you have a beautiful weekend. And I will see you guys next week. Okay. Take care. Bye.